We have a question from Steve Politis. I hope I pronounced that right, Steve. Hey, Dave, my question relates to tire pressure for a Bandit 1250, suggesting 36 front and 42 rear on a Dunlop 218. Do you think that these pressures are suitable for this tire with a 210 pound rider and luggage? Will there be enough contact patch on the road? Thanks, Steve. Well, Steve, let's take a look at a couple things here. One, obviously, I'm hoping SAG has been set and all the adjustments that are available on that bike have been optimized to your weight. That being said, then we get into tires. Now with tires, they come in two versions, a hard carcass tire and a soft carcass tire. So for example, on my street bike, I would run 42 rear, 40 front on a Metzler or Pirelli tire. That's because the carcass of the tire is incredibly soft. And so I want to maintain the shape. I want to get the most mileage out of the bike. I'm not riding aggressively. Therefore, there is no absolute need to have the maximum size contact patch available to me for street riding. So I have no problem running very high pressures like that with a soft carcass tire. In regards to Dunlop, Michelin, and to some extent Bridgetone, those pressures can be dropped a little bit simply because the tire is much harder in terms of its construction, its sidewall strength, and its ability to add feedback all the way through to the chassis. Now in instances like that, I would run maybe 38 rear, 36 front, <clears throat> because the carcass of the tire is much harder. Obviously the suspension settings will also have to be changed either way. Whether it's a soft carcass tire, you need lots of suspension travel so you don't stress the tire, or a very hard carcass tire where you need very firm suspension to take care of every little bump that's going to come through from the tire into the suspension. So, in many of these questions that have been answered before in regards to tire pressure, ultimately the deal is this. Do you want grip or do you want longevity? So. If you're looking for longevity, you run high pressures. If you're looking for grip, you run lower pressures to increase the contact patch size and make you, the rider, feel confident that you have enough tire on the ground if you are going to go and do some aggressive or spirited riding on the road. Other thing to remember in regards to your question is also the profile of the tire. If you're getting a sport touring tire, then that in general is a very hard carcass tire. So I would experiment not only with the roll profile of different tires, but also in regards to pressure. If you do load the bike up, I would have personally no problem running high pressures at all, just because there's so much weight on the motorcycle. The last thing you want to do if you're braking or accelerating is have the sidewall of the tire itself not necessarily collapse, but deform to a point where it won't steer properly or brake properly. Or when you're accelerating, the bike won't hold its line because the sidewall flattens out a little bit, changing the weight balance of the motorcycle. So I would experiment. As always, to get something, you're gonna give something up. So it's all up to you. But in regards to your question specifically, I would have no problem running those tire pressures at all. Thanks very much for your question. For those of you that have questions for me, please send them through Facebook to Dave Moss Tuning. Thanks very much.